In this episode, we're going to focus on creating a profile. Inspect profiles organize multiple controls into a reusable artifact that allows us to give it a description and a version. So let's get started creating a profile. So I'm going to look at an existing control file within my directory called Tomcat RV. This describes a working Tomcat installation on one particular system. I'm going to use the inspect init profile command to generate me a profile. This is a folder structure or directory with a number of files within it. I'm going to first open the readme file and update this content to describe more about the profile for my coworkers and those that are interested in a Tomcat profile to read. Next, I'm going to update the metadata file inspect.gaml to provide the programmatic information that describes my profile. Here I'm going to include my name, email, version number, and other details about my profile. Now I'm going to open up my example.rb file. This is a default file that contains my controls or example controls in this initially generated profile. I'm going to update the information, paste in my controls, and then remove the existing controls. However, I'm going to leave this bottom one as an example to come back to when I want to refactor or revise the ones that I initially created. All right, now I'm going to use inspect detect to just to make sure a system that I can target is up and available. When that's done, I'll use inspect exec to target this remote machine with the profile that I've just created. I see that the profile has returned the same results that I saw when I executed it as just a control file. But there's some new benefits that I now have. I'm able to version and describe this profile. And what I'm going to do now is create a new. So I will change into the directory, run git init to initialize it as a git repository. I'll add all the files and then run git status. Then I'll run git commit and write a commit message that describes this profile. I'll then go to GitHub or wherever I'm storing my git repositories and I will create a repository there. Here I'm using a tool called Hub, which interfaces with GitHub from the command line. It makes it easy for me to create profiles within my organizations that I belong to. Then I'm going to push the content up to GitHub. After I've done that, I'm spending a little time marking the tags for my profile and then providing a description for other humans to read. Now that we've finished creating the profile, let's return back to that example.rb file and revise the controls that we created. So a control is more than just the describe block. It's actually a control block around the describe. So here I'm going to provide some additional metadata about the test that I'm performing to help clarify to other individuals reading it what is important about it and what it is testing. So here I'm numbering my control Tomcat01. I'm saying that it's verifying that it's running on the correct port. And now I am copying in the controls, the describe blocks, for the various port related tests within this control. I'm going to continue through the rest of the file creating controls like I did above until I'm completely surrounded all of my describe blocks inside of controls that describe them. I'll return to the command line and execute my profile as I saw before. Everything appears to run correctly, so I'm going to then commit this and push this up to GitHub. If you'd like to learn more about Inspec, check out other videos in this series, our documentation, or tutorials.